Which football team in England do you support? It's not going to plan, is it? No. It's all out. It's actually all out. I'm very annoyed at the club. Afana just kicked in the Papa Dunford. This would be literally last chance for the game stuff. Food delivery services like Tyler Adams in the middle of the park, they're everywhere, bringing you convenient, lukewarm food at a ridiculously inflated price. What's not to love? Well, today I'm using them in a new way. Myself and Ed are going to order a food delivery to Leeds. When that arrives, I'm going to simply ask the driver to tell me a football team name. Whoever that driver says will go and watch them play, as long as they have a game anyway. So, without further ado, I need to set off to Leeds and see where destiny sends us this week. Welcome to Away Days. 6.32 on a Saturday morning. Let's get to Leeds. Here he is, the man called Ed. Hello. Hello, hello. I just introduced you as the man who's called Ed. <laughs> I'll take that. I've, I've introduced a rule called the no Leeds rule <laughs> because we're in Leeds and it, we're both Leeds fans mm -hmm. and I feel like people would be very skeptical in the comment section if we happen to go watch Leeds. It would look rigged, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm presuming the Deliveroo driver's gonna give us a big team. Yeah, I'm not expecting Bournemouth. Right, I think we should order Deliveroo, and then, what? oh God. This is either gonna be brilliant or awful. <laughs> so our Deliveroo order has been placed. Now we just sort of have to sit <laughs> really awkwardly. Fast food delivery is convenient, but you know what is also convenient is when you can have an app on your phone, you can predict football scores on every day, and that is our season sponsor, Omada. Yes, Omada is a completely free to play sports prediction app in which everyday new fixtures are added to it. There's squads on there as well. You can make squads with your friends. You can have one with just your friends. There's a global squad and there's also my very own Away Day squad, in which has now over 8,000 of you in and it's completely free to join in using the link at the top of the description or that squad code on screen. It's very simple to play Omada. Every day you make predictions, you accumulate free to play coins throughout the week and the person who accumulates the most coins by the end of each week will win their squad. And also, just for being in the Away Day squad, you can win a mystery shirt just for playing along. You don't have to do anything in particular. Just make sure you make at least one prediction every single week and you have a chance of winning a mystery shirt thanks to the Away Day squad. So download Omada at the top of the description and they're making one, our breakfast come here, but two, also my crazy ideas come true this season as well. So we're not going to... Get out of the Deliveroo, thanks to Omada, and then we'll see where we're off to. Here we go, Yusuf is on his way. Hello? Hello, Dusty, you live from outside. I, uh, you're not outside, no. Thank you, mate. No, 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 you're, you're not outside, sorry. Did you hear that? Yeah, good, thanks to you. Thank you. Um, I have a random question, do you like football? Uh, a little bit. Which football team in England do you support? I don't support a uh, team, but... Say the first English football team that comes to your head. Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. Thank you very much. Have a great day, mate. Thank you. There's no chance there's tickets left. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't think there will be. Wait, who else will play again? Bournemouth at home. Yeah, I'm not expecting Bournemouth. All right, let's, let's have a go. Let's try and see what we can do. Arsenal versus Bournemouth. Show availability. Uh, the event is not available to you. Membership options? If I become a member, I think we can get tickets. Feels like a lot of effort. <laughs> so Arsenal's destination, as you can see on screen, it told me there was tickets available for Arsenal Bournemouth, and it had to be a member to do that. So I spent four, £34 to become an Arsenal member, and then I've gone to buy the tickets, and it says there's no tickets. So what What do we do now? What? <laughs> That's a good question. Can we break in? <laughs> Let me look at some um, other options quickly. Oh, this is going to be an expensive day, isn't it? You're right. I've done a lot of bad things financially on this channel before, yep. but I feel like spending £34 on a membership yeah. for tickets that don't exist. That's up there. That is up there. <laughs> I'll try and look at the ingredients. <laughs> the ingredients 100% pineapple. That is a shot. Come on, have a good nosh. My plan of action in my head is we just drive to the Emirates. Force our way in. That's fine. And figure something out when we get there. Yeah. Threaten them on the door, what have we have to do? The Emirates Stadium is a three and a half hour drive, which means we make it there for about half one. Factor in a stop halfway through for lunch, which will be us desperately trying to get tickets, let's be honest. Yeah. I think we can make that. This is so stupid. As with every challenge I'm doing on this channel, we have to honor where someone's told us to go. So we're gonna go to the Emirates. If we can't get tickets, we'll do the app that shows the nearest picture to you and we'll go to that game. So there's a bit of jeopardy here. There is, there's a lot. Well, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> it's not going to plan, is it? No. Like, what is this? 
tried to not even do it. No word after it, just <laughs> Let me just make Alfie have a lot of work to do. Yeah, but, do you want to do it again? Fuck off, fuckity fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck. Is that how I described your day going, Alfie? You enjoy bleeping that flippity flop? <laughs> Sorry, somewhere in it we know by Keen just came on the radio. Do you want to tell your story, Ed? Well, yeah, just this song was at, uh, at a funeral I was at. This was just one of the songs. It was a, it was a good do. Don't get me wrong, like the wake was a good one. A golf club, lovely food on, good spread. <laughs> and I just this took me back. That was also the casket being taken down the church. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like it's a good tune. Yeah, good <laughs> he said it was a good. It was a good. Dip, it was a good bash. It was a good bash. Yeah. We can't do Arsenal. I'm very annoyed at the club. To be honest, it said there was tickets available. It said tickets available for all these options. If you became a red member, it said there were tickets. I became a red member, there was no tickets. I'm now gonna find the closest fixture to Arsenal and we'll honour that and go to it. We're off to... Leighton Orient against Swindon Town. Let's do it. Go on, tell them what's happened. Leighton Orient against Swindon's a sellout. How? How is that a sellout? Just for proof, let's have a look. I've screen recorded it as well. No seats available matching your criteria, two tickets. How is that even possible? I've concluded there's just no way Leighton Orient Swindon is a sellout. It can't be. Even in the away end, there might be tickets. It's gotta be somewhere, they've gotta fit us in somewhere. Yeah, let's head there, and if not, I will have a breakdown. <laughs> Hang on a minute, one sec. Come on, that's gotta be. He was beautiful. He was the point of difference. He has always been. The point of difference. Oh, oh, what, what a man. man. Let's go to Leighton Orient. <laughs> We're in Leighton Stone. Yeah. Seven hours of driving so far. 45 minutes to kick off. There better be tickets. There's gotta be. Surely. Oh, come, Surely. Come on. <laughs> I can't stress enough how much of a disaster it'll be if there's no tickets. Ed, I'm not being dramatic here. It's actually not looking likely at this point. It's looking a bit dodgy, this, isn't it? I'm not sure if we are going to get any seconds here. Oh, Christ. Sold out. It's actually sold out. <laughs> and the worst bit is, yeah. Swindon sold out as well. Let me ask the question, sorry. Yeah. Right, sorry, is there any tickets left in hospitality or anything for the game? Two together. Two together? Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. The game's a complete sellout, and she said she literally said two people cancel tickets. That's very And nice. we got them last minute. Oh my Christ. Imagine where else we've had to have gone. Yeah. That's what we're ending with Millwall. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bit of an innuendo, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> it does. Take up your Orient. <laughs> I would. Family channel. Straight away, we're in. I need to get away from the mascot. Can I get away? Can we get a photo of the In case anyone is wondering why Leighton Orient tickets are so hard to get, they are currently top of the league and absolutely flying. So that's why tickets are very hard to get for them. Swindon selling out. I think it must just mean they have a good fan base. I'll tell you what. It's just nice to have made it to a game because it's been an odd day. I got up at six in the morning for this. <laughs> Come on, the O's. Whose leg do I have to pull to get in the Papa John's box? Now we're talking. I'm really sorry to say this, but the rules are the rules. It's a criminal offence to encroach onto the pitch area. The rules are the rules. Arrest them all. Come on, the O's. Look at the mascot in the background. I've an absolute field day. Go on. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I bloody love this mascot. I know somebody knows the crossy. Look at that, Aguero! Oh yeah! Now we're talking. They're only here for the mascot role. They're off. Yep. Yeah, see you next week. Come on, boys! You know we've rushed there, and they said the game's a sellout. Well, none. Loads of seats there. Loads of seats there. Loads of seats there. All I can imagine is most of them bought their tickets and then their delivery driver told them to go watch someone else. Also, I've always thought them Bocker flats were like the dream to own. Like as a football fan, that's incredible to watch a game up there. Just bloody bang it. Just go and bang it in the goal hole. In the goal hole, Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry, someone keeps telling me to stop saying Jesus, but my family have always said it and it's not blasphemy because I don't mean any ill bottle by it. You do what you want religiously and I'll do what I do. Having a bloody great time.
he's shown his appreciation by going front row. No antisocial behaviour. Are oh, the mascots off? Oh, who are you? Who are you? Just reminding these guys once again, it is a criminal offence to encroach on the pitch area. I will be showing this footage to the police and you will be arrested accordingly. Amazing. There's a wide selection of hats on show here. We've got um, that hat, that hat, that hat. Is that Fedora? Fedora cap, woolly hat, more traditional woolly hat, snapback. Let us know in the comments which one you're going for. Four different men, four different hats. Half time at Brisbane Road. I've had a good time, had a good time. It's a strong first half performance. Mascot's been man of the match. It's hard to see in them suits, let alone press up and forward roll. It's impressive. It's impressive to be fair. Yeah, and he has encroached on the pitch a couple of times. But once again, he's added to my list of offenders, but not in that way, in terms of criminal. <laughs> that's, that's sometimes how people get caught themselves into society. That's all I'm saying, they get into those jobs. I was a mascot. Not saying anything. Not saying anything. We'll see you in the second half. You've got to save that. He's not even dived. Put some effort in. Give him the eyes there. Bosh! I was a Bosh. Tom Skidder. Oh, Bosh. Oh, stop it. Stop that now. Just realised the mascot is in that stand now, like leading the chance. That is incredible. And I don't want to make this a mascot video, but I don't want to not make it one either. The ball. A fan just broke the Papa John's board. <laughs> a fan has just kicked in the Papa John's board. They pay good money for that. Oh, the Papa John's board of all things. More importantly, that Swindon end has just erupted amazingly. But the Papa John's board, a fan has absolutely just booted. They're 12 clear. They're like 15 clear of all oh, magics. Like, why has he just booted the Papa John's board? Hang on a minute. We can anonymously report antisocial behaviour in the stadium at this number. Just, just get your phone out instantly. <laughs> Whip it in the bloody box. Or do that. Oh! Yeah, battle time! Pen! Never a pen, boy. <laughs> Never. Five added. Here we go. Come on, then. Give some words of encouragement. Score. Now we've got cracking. This would be literally last chance of the game stuff. Oh. gone a few yards to claim for that as well. Watch the Papa John's board, watch that down there instantly. There we go, that's that. Oh, can't have a feeling we're just bad luck for everyone. That's had a worse day than us. That's a shame really. Not to be disappointed with the outcome of events, but we would have seen Arsenal come through home and win 3-2. So ultimately, brilliant. Can we? Just appreciate how funny it was that a guy absolutely battered the Papa John's pizza sponsorship thing. Because they're like 15 points clear. And why? Why have you done that for a 1 1 draw? It was an equaliser. You could have won the game still. You just absolutely battered it. Also, 10 out of 10 mascot performance. Round of applause in the comment section, please. I know some people are actually going to have commented clap, clap, clap. And I love you. 5,000 likes and we'll try this again in Europe. Uh, I know we obviously do that, but basically any UK one, if we get 5,000 likes, we'll do it again in Europe. If you've enjoyed, let me know. Leave a comment. Shame we didn't end up in Arsenal's game. And I'm aware people are going to comment saying you should have got tickets from a ticket tout. But no, I don't, I don't want to support touting. I feel like it robs actual fans of tickets. That's the whole, we don't do that on this channel. Like, I'll never go to a game that I shouldn't be at. No, Arsenal are having a great season. Their fans should savour it. Never supporting ticket touts. Let me know of any other challenges you want to see us do. I'm curious to know what you guys want to see us do in terms of challenges, like formats we can try. I'm open to anything. Uh, also, a huge thanks to Omada for allowing us to do these stupid things. If you want to win a mystery football shirt, check them out at the top of the description. I've been Ellis, and I'll see you soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ooh, that wasn't smooth.